at a colorful ceremony held at the Sera Kasanyi Training School. President Museveni, who is also the Commander-in-Chief of Uganda People's Defense Forces, has passed out 229 new army recruits who successfully completed their basic military training. Speaking after inspecting the parade and witnessing the combat skills of the newly passed out officers, Museveni congratulated the SFC for upgrading the training. This is very smart. It enables us to train many people, but also not use a lot of fuel and not, 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 not cause wear and tear of the, of the tanks or of the guns because we are doing it electronically. That's what, that's what many modern countries are doing. So I congratulate you for upgrading the training in the SFC. The president called upon the army leadership to make good use of these well-educated young people, such as engineers and medical doctors, who he said are a good value addition to the army. So you, the army leaders, you should be clear how to utilize them. Some of them are really pro, uh, professional, like the engineers. It is correct that after the basic exposure of the military and leadership, they join the engineering brigade. The Commander Special Forces Command Brigadier General David Mugisha expressed gratitude to the Commander-in-Chief for uplifting the welfare of UPDF and promised to continue producing high-quality soldiers. I need to embark on specialized training and acquisition of modern equipment so as to deter and curtail such hurdles from happening to our country. The struggle and strategic security and stability of Uganda, East Africa and Africa is the, is the precursor to transformation and development. He also noted that the global contemporary operating environment is faced with a lot of challenges ranging from terrorism, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear attacks, cyber threats, insurgencies and others that need special attention. The acting chief of staff UPDF Land Forces, Major General Jackson Bakasumba, who represented the chief of defense forces, thanked the SFC leadership for the training and urged the new recruits to continue acquiring more knowledge and to be disciplined. Discipline. The commandant here mentioned the discipline. We expect the highest standards of discipline from you. Any act of indiscipline will never be tolerated. Those who speak Israeli say, Kusamea makosa ni makosa. If you, are, if you forgive someone who has done wrong, you are equally wrong. So you should suffer the same punishment. Then you have to maintain ideological clarity. Embrace continued training. Very soon some of you will go for other training from different training institutions. Then you have to live within your means to avoid financial pressure on yourselves. Live within your means. The commandant of Sarah Kasanyi Training School, Lieutenant Colonel William Diomugabe, noted that the 229 trainees, of whom 35 were female, were well educated and grounded in different professionals. Use the knowledge acquired to love your country, Uganda, and protect the people. Always remember that. Enemies of our country, Uganda, are not only those carrying guns. You may find yourself in the same category if you do not avoid subversive tendencies like corruption, cheap popularity, sectarianism, formation of cliques, intrigue, among other many negative vices. Joseph Oko, UBC.